So we have uh, this word problem where Asha and Samuel have bookshelves of the same size. Both Asha and Samuel have their bookshelves which are of the same exact same size partly filled with books. They have some books filled in that shelf, kept in that, on, on their shelves. So Asha's shelf is five or six full of this five six means that five or six full of full and Samuel's shelf is two or five full. So let's say that if we suppose that this is the shelf of let me move this. If I suppose that if this is the shelf of Asha's and control C, control V, since we have the Samuel's shelf is also of exact of the same size. So this is for the Asha's and this is for Samuel's. And they have some books kept on that. This is this Asha's shelf is five or six full. This is five or six filled with full of books, and this is the Samuels is two or two or five full. Whose bookshelf is more full? That means it's telling you to compare and tell whose bookshelf has more books. Now clearly we have been given these two fractions. This fraction is telling that by what fraction the Asha's bookshelf is full of books and this is telling for the Samuel's one. We have to compare these two fractions because these two fractions tell us that what fraction or what number of books are kept on the respective shelves. So, if it is 5 or 6 and this is 2 or 5, clearly these two, are, these two are unlike fractions. Why these two are unlike fractions? Because they have different denominators. The denominators are not the same and therefore in order to compare it, always remember we will convert these two unlike fractions into their respective like fractions, into make them like fractions. And the way to do the like fractions is that first step is always find the LCM of 6 and 5. If you find the LCM of 6 and 5, I'm just leaving for your homework. You just pause the video and try to do it. You will find as 30. The LCM of 6 and 5 will come as 30. Okay. We have already discussed we, how we find out LCM. Just use that method and find out the LCM of 6 and 5. That is equal to 30. The second step is that we have to, in order to make like fractions, these two fractions are like fractions, we will convert, we will change these, this fraction and this fraction into their respective equivalent fractions such that the denominators are equal to this LCM that is 30. So if I have to convert this fraction that is 5 or 6 into a fraction such that its denominator becomes 30. So what you would do? Simply, what number I should multiply 6 with so that the denominator becomes 30? Exact. It's definitely going to be 5. Since we have multiplied the denominator by 5, we'll also multiply the numerator by 5. That's what the, I mean, the rule of making uh, an equivalent fraction is. So this is going to be 25 over 30. I'm not writing the statements. It's very important to write the complete statement whenever you are solving any questions um, because your course demands that and your exam will demand that. Otherwise, your marks will get detected. I'm just writing the important points only. What will be the equivalent fraction of this 2 over 5 in a way that the denominator becomes 30? Now clearly if I multiply the denominator with 6, it, this will become 30. And now since we have multiplied the denominator with 6, we'll also multiply 6 with the numerator and it will become 12. Now we have this 25 over 30 as 
equivalent fraction of this one and 12 over 30 as the equivalent fraction of this one having the denominators as 30 and thus now they are like fractions having their denominator as 30. What's the third step? Third step is simple. Just compare it now. So 25 over 30 and 12 over 30. Like fractions, we always compare numerators. This is 25, this is 12. Of course, 25 is greater than 12. Therefore, 25 over 30, 25 over 30 is greater than 12 over 30. That means 25 over 30 is, was the equivalent fraction of 5 over 6. That means that 5 over 6 is greater than 2 over 4. Again repeating, since 25 over 30 is greater than 12 over 30 and 25 over 30 was the equivalent fraction of 5 over 6 and 12 over 30 is equivalent fraction of 2 over 5, so that means 5 over 6 is greater than 2 over 5, right? So this Asha's bookshelf, bookshelf has more books than the Samuel's bookshelves. Now the second part of the question is by what fraction? Now you have to tell by what fraction Asha's bookshelf has more books than Samuel's. Simple. We have already we have two like fractions and these two like fractions are representing the equivalent fraction of this one and this one. That is for the Asha's and for the Samuel's. We have compared it. Now we know that 25 over 30 is, is greater than 12 over 30. Now we have to tell the difference between by what fraction Asha's bookshelf has more books. Simple. Subtract 12 or 12 or 30 from 25 or 30. So if we subtract 25 or 30, uh, 12 or 30 from 25 or 30. So these are like fractions. The denominator is going to be 30 only. And this is 25 minus 12. And this will give you what? This will give you 13 or 30. So this is the fraction, this fraction tells you that by this fraction, Asha's bookshelf has more books than the Samuel's bookshelf. Okay, so this is telling you the fraction and Asha's bookshelf has more books than the Samuel's one.